Today I'm going to be showing you how to hard code 8 character game genie codes into an NES ROM. Now, if you've seen the video on uh, 6 character game genie encoding, uh, you'll find a lot of things quite similar. The only difference is that the uh, 8 character game genie encoding adds in a new thing called a compare value. And uh, first I'm going to give you a little background on what that is. Um, if a game is larger than a certain amount of memory, it has to use a thing called bank swapping to change out certain blocks of memory to access different parts of the file, just basically to make the game run, because they can only have so much, you know, active or in the RAM or whatever it is, at a certain at a certain point of time. So the compare value uh, checks the specific address uh, for the compare value, basically. So let's just say it's DE. Now, at a certain point, that value at the address could be CE, and then when they do a swap to a different area, it can uh, it might then become DE because it would be the correct value and corresponding to what you're trying to alter. Now, basically for this, you're gonna have to know what type of mapper the uh, game uses, and the mapper is what it uses to swap the banks, and you know the size of the mapper. Uh, it can change, and you'll have to find that out. But for uh, this one, we're just gonna be using. Super Mario Brother 3 and uh, uses an MMC3 mapper which is a pretty common one so you should find this uh, pretty uh, generally useful. Alright, now that I have that explained, uh, you're going to need a few things for the tutorial. You're going to need your hex editor and I just want to say uh, if you watch any of my other video tutorials I use Hexbows exclusively. It's my preferred editor. Unfortunately, 64-bit operating systems do not support 16-bit applications and since Hexbows is a 16-bit application, I was a little screwed. Uh, you're going to need uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, which is the ROM we're using, and I have a nifty little utility I made called uh, Game Genie Decoder. You can use that to uh, decode the Game Genie Decoder into the address, compare value, and change value, respectively. Um, so go ahead and open up Game Genie Decoder, and uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be doing the Infinite Lives code for Super Mario Bros. 3, which is S-L-X-P-L-O-V... Oh, jeez, I always do this. S L X P L O V S hit decode and you get an address of nine uh nine thousand one hundred twenty three hexadecimal compare value of D E which is shown here and a change value of B D shown here. So uh, once we have that, go ahead and open up the hex editor and then open up your ROM. Now before we get started we're gonna have to go ahead and open up calculator, do a few little math things. Um now if, uh if you don't know how to do it and you're in pre Windows 7, go to scientific mode to get to the uh, all the options like I have here and use hexadecimal uh, mode. And if you're in Windows 7, you can go to programmer. Uh, and this is all just by going to the view tab. Now that we have that, uh, in case you didn't know, the sort of base number when it comes to memory sizes like bytes to kilobytes, kilobytes to megabytes is 1024. So it would be 1024, 1024 bytes equals 1 kilobyte. 10,000 or 1,024 kilobytes equals one megabyte, so on and so forth. It's uh, and then when you have it in hexadecimal, oh geez, it's uh, well, it's four, it's uh, 400, and uh, the MMC3 uh memory bank is eight kilobytes. So go ahead and multiply that by eight, and you should get 2,000 in hexadecimal. And uh, if you're not familiar with hexadecimal, you're going to say, what the hell's going on here? But it's a base 16 number system, and it just doesn't work the same as decimal, so just don't worry about it. Now, uh, this little thing we have to do, which for the memory bank, you have to subtract 1 from it. So we get a value of 1FFF. And uh, just remember that. Now, uh, you're going to have to type in the address given from the game GD decoder, which is 9123. And then you have to do a memory operation called AND. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry. It's a little confusing if you don't know anything like C++. Just don't worry about it. So just go ahead and click AND and type in the address or the amount. Sorry, one F F F, and you should get eleven twenty-three. After that, add 
10. And if you don't know why you're doing that, uh, every ROM has a 16-bit uh, or byte header. God, I can't remember that for some reason which one it is. But, uh, you know, 16 is equivocal to 10 in hex. So just add that to it to, uh, you know, add or to uh, compensate for the header, which wouldn't be there in a normal game. And uh, once you have that, you'll have address the address of 1133. So go to your hex editor and go to the equivocal of the go to and type in the address 1133 and go there. Now if you look, the uh, value listed is DO and our compare value is D. That means it's not correct. We can't change it to BD. It's not supposed to do that. So what you do at this point is uh, you'd add the original bank uh, bank swap value of uh, 2000. This time, I'm not entirely sure why you do 2000 times as opposed to the other uh, thing of 11FF, and uh, also you're not going to comp recompensate for the 16-byte uh, header. It's already been done once. So then just go ahead and add the amount, which is 2000, and then go to uh, go to again and type in the new value. In this case, it's 3133. Oh. And uh, hit enter. And then you'll see you should get a value of BF. And if you look, that's not the case. Now, uh, you can basically you have to basically you have to keep doing this over and over and over again until you get to the compare value. This can be a little tedious, and, but you know, it's just you have to do it if you want to good your game. Good, you have to go with the bad. Now, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the value because I don't want to be here all night going through all these. But uh, the value should be 3D133, and you'll see the compare value of DE. So uh, once you do that. Just type in the new value BD and uh, go ahead and save your ROM. And uh, if you you know a little confused, still by hexadecimal, you it is a divisible number by. Uh, it's a long show, but when you add, keep adding to with the uh, 2000, you know, you will get to 3D133. Um, but yeah, like I said, you just have to keep going at it until you get to the right value. So once you have it saved, go ahead and exit that. You can exit everything, because that's pretty much done. And uh, just go ahead and test out your game uh, in your emulator. And uh, for some reason, the game's a little jumpy in uh, Nestor, for some reason. I do not know why. Oh, let me disable the sound. And go ahead and start. And as you play it, you will soon discover you have four lives. And when you die, you will still have four lives because you encoded the game gene incorrectly, hopefully. Um, that's it. Remember to uh, rate and subscribe, I guess. And uh, if you have any questions, just send me a message or com leave me a comment and I will try and help you. Um, I'll post a link for the download for the game Genie Decoder, and uh, as soon as I find a, I'll I'll write together a list of all the uh, memory, or all the uh, mappers and their memory bank values, just so uh, it'll be more convenient on you. And I'll put a link on the side.